Hey Jazzy Squad, welcome to another 30 minute Jazz It Up. I'm Jazz and today we're going to focus on upper body and the exercises for this workout are primarily catered towards beginners, but all fitness levels are welcome. Let's get a mat ready to go. Let's get some weights ready to go. Let's take a few deep breaths to get ourselves centered and we'll get started soon. All right, team, let's get started with a nice quick warm up. Let's get your mats ready to go and get, or get a nice comfortable spot on the floor. Let's bring yourselves down onto the mat, onto your uh, backs, and let's get the modified dead bugs going. All right, feet down, knees up, hands pointed towards the sky, and then you're just gonna go right arm and left leg, extend that out, and then switch to left arm, right leg. Have the hand and the foot touch the floor for the warm up here. But if you are feeling a little bit spicy and you want a little bit more of a challenge, extend your right arm and, or extend the hand, hands and feet out without touching the floor. But if you need to touch the floor, that is no problem. Please do, this is just a warm up. We're gonna be doing dead bugs during our exercises. So that's where we can throw in a little bit of the challenge there, team. Nice and steady squad. All right, beautiful. Quickly flip over. Get yourselves into the push-up position with your knees down. Push-up position, knees down. Hips low. And just hold that right there. And if you need a little bit more of a modif modification for your wrist, just make strong fists. Dig those fists into the floor. Take that tension off those wrists there. All right, bring your beautiful selves into the child's pose. Big reach forward. Try to touch that booty to the back part of our heels here. All right, carefully bring yourselves back into that push-up position. Hips low, booty tight, abs tight. All right, bring yourselves back into that child's pose. We're gonna do this one more time, team. This is such a good core, upper body, arm warm up. Bring yourselves back into that push up position, knees down, push up position, knees down. Very good, team. And bring it back, child's pose, child's pose. Big reach forward. All right, team, great job. So the first thing we're gonna do is the balance curls. So as you can see, we're gonna start on our left foot and we're gonna elevate our right foot up. You can either, either have the, uh, the opposite foot um, elevated or just a big toe touching to manage that balance, okay? But if you want that extra challenge, keep that foot elevated. All right, team, here we go. Stand on that now left foot first. Three, Jack. two, one, and let's get it. So just getting those hammer curls going, palms facing each other. Find that focal point right in front of us. I'm looking at you beauty straight in front of me, <laughs> virtually and recorded, so not live, but. <laughs> All right, nice and steady here, team. Remember, foot elevated. Try your best not to have it touch that foot you're standing on. So the two variations is that foot elevated without touching that standing foot or the leg you're standing on, or having that foot behind us, big toe down. Okay? If none of these work for you, you can just put that foot down, no problem. You can just give me the regular curl, but if you want that extra challenge, please challenge your balance here. That's what we're here for. Beginner's workout, but still throwing challenging stuff at you, at you all. All right, team, carefully switch. Stand on your right leg, elevate that left foot, and go. Jazz it up classes are for all fitness levels. Today we're focusing on beginners, uh, specifically for beginners, which is okay. But again, all Jazz It Up classes are for all fitness levels, even the intense 
one hour workouts every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I had to throw in that plug in there <laughs> for the live classes, which are always fun. All right, team, looking good, almost there. All right, biceps feeling great. Rest it up. Beautiful job, team. Okay. I want you guys to carefully grab some medium to uh, medium weights. So I'm going to start with 15s here. This is going to be for the second exercise we do on the floor. All right. So just get those weights ready to go to your side. Okay. Now grab your mat. Carefully bring your beautiful selves back down to the floor. All right. And then we're just gonna do the, um, we're gonna do the, the knee reaches as well as the dead bugs like we did in the warm up. All right, team, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. So you can either do this with your feet down or if you're feeling spicy, bring those feet up. But if you have any lower back issues, please put those feet down and just have those hands glide across that shin. Big reach up. Trying to bring your head, neck, and top part of your back off the floor. Just try to reach as high as you can. If you can just only bring up your head, that's fine. Just try to get up as high as you can at the pace that is most comfortable for you. All right, team, here we go. Let's switch it to those dead bugs. Go ahead, right arm, left leg, and then left arm, right leg. So if you're feeling extra spicy, try not to touch the floor with the hands or the feet. And if you want even more of a challenge, bring up those feet, extend it out. Okay, remember if you have anybody, if any of you have any issues with your lower back, please do this with your feet down. There's modifications for everything. Like I said earlier, full extension now. Let's go squad, looking good. Nice little core combo here. All right, beauties, rest it up, great job. Carefully sit up, grab those weights that we got prepared for before these exercises, okay? And as you can see up top, we're gonna get the slow eccentric contraction um, bice or uh, chest press going, okay? So get those hands up nice and high. Here we go, feet down. Okay, three count down, one count up. Three, two, one, and go. So slow and steady. One, two, three, big press up. One, two, three, big press up. And just repeat that, beauties. And just tap those elbows onto the floor here. Big press up. Three, good. One, two, three, and just continue that. So we're increasing that time under tension here. As we carefully bring the weights down. So we're challenging our chest here, challenging our triceps, which is the back part of our arm, as well as the shoulders a little bit. Two, three, almost there team, looking good, let's go. A really good chest exercise for us, for everybody. Tap those elbows, big inhale down, exhale up. Boom. Two, three, let's go. Almost there. You are now listening to and rest it up, beauties. Great job. Carefully bring yourself up. Put those weights to the side here. Pretty sure we're still down here. Just let me check my notes real quick. 
All right, no, we're not actually. Come on up, carefully come on up. And we're gonna do the curl and overhead press, okay? Curl and overhead press. So get a nice light to light medium set of weights here. Okay, kind of like we did with the, the balanced bicep curls in the, for the first exercise, we're gonna get those curls and then straight to that overhead press, keeping those arms nice and narrow. Give me a staggered stance, here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go team. Curl, press up, boom. Nice little four parter here. One, two, three, and four. Nice and steady team. Two, three, and four. Keep those elbows nice and narrow. You are now listening to Dr. Jazz. Big curl, one, two, three, and four. Looking good, SWAT. Slow and steady wins the race here. Don't go too fast. Keep those abs engaged. Try not to arch that lower back. Looking good, team. Keep it up. Almost there. Good bicep exercise. Great shoulder exercise. All right, take a breather. Keep those weights in hand. Keep those weights in hand. Now we're gonna get those kickbacks. As you can see up top, just kick them straight back behind you. Hinge at that waist, both feet planted. Here we go. Three, two, one. Elbows high and go. So just kick it out. Carefully bring it back. Kick it out. Carefully bring it back and repeat that, team. Whew. Nice little bicep, shoulders, and tricep action here, team. Looking amazing. Back nice and straight, kick that booty out. Head nice and neutral with that spine. Look at something, find a focal point on the floor here. All right, and rest it up, team. Beautiful job, nice little trio right there. Great, nice, nicely done. All right, last, next thing we're gonna do is the lawnmower. So snag a chair, snag a bench, okay? Let's get that in position. And as you can see up top, you can either, um, so you can either put your hands on a chair or you can get yourself onto a bench like what I have here and then you're just gonna row it up we're gonna focus on each side at a time right arm straight up and left arm straight up all right team snag a nice little pretty solid weight medium to medium heavy weight for this one all right team Let's start with that left arm first here we go three two one and let's go so just row it up slowly bring it down and repeat that isolating each side really targeting that back here inhale down exhale up and just bring that weight five degrees behind you not straight up but up and five degrees behind you and great inhale down Exhale up. Almost there. All right, team, beautiful job. Let's switch that side. Right arm now, left, right leg behind you, left leg forward, here we go, three, two, one, Big inhale down, exhale up. Hitting that back here, nice and easy, low impact. Nice straight back here. 
Looking good, squad. Keep it up. This is really good for managing and helping our posture. Hence why we're doing it in this beginner's workout here. Almost there. All right, beautiful job team. Rest it up, very good. Get a quick swig of water. Place those benches out of the way. All right, team, very good. We're gonna go back to the top with that balance curl. Snag those same weights that you had last time, or if you're feeling spicy, go up and wait a little bit like I am. All right. But again, if you wanna stick with the way you had last time, that is no problem. All right, squad. Let's start with that left leg first. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Elevate that right foot, stand on that left foot. Inhale down, exhale up. Hope everybody's having a great day wherever you're at. Beautiful day wherever you're at. I recorded this workout close to the summer solstice, so the sun is nice and high on the sky for a long time throughout the day. Gotta love it, right? Remember team, try your best not to touch your standing leg with that foot that's elevated. If you need that modification, put that foot down. Take a breather, wiggle out those legs, wiggle out those arms, let's stand on your right leg, elevate that left foot, three, two, one, let's go beauties. Really good exercise here, like I said earlier, for our balance, for, for our arms, for our coordination here, we're doing great. Inhale down, exhale, curl that strong up, let's go. Elbows tight. Almost there. And rest it up, beauties. Great job. Very good. Okay, let's get those mats down, as well as get those weights that you had last time for those presses. Just bring them down with you right now. So we're ready to go for the, extra, the exercise after the nice little core combo that we do. All right, team, here we go. Looking great. Get yourself down onto your backs. Here we go. Three knee reaches, two, one, and let's go. Feet up off the floor. But if you need to put those feet down, that is no problem. But if you want that extra challenge, big reach. Put those feet up. Inhale down. Exhale up, beauties. Let's go. Almost there. All right, take a quick little breather. Feet down, okay, with the dead bugs. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's get it. You are now listening to yeah, feet down if you want, but if you want that extra challenge, get those feet elevated. So remember, there's three modifications here. Foot da feet down, having the hand and hands and feet touching the floor. Feet down, but as you reach out, having the arm and leg not touch the floor. And then the super modified version, feet up, knees up, extend out, do not touch the floor with your arms and legs. 
if you want to be a little bit spicy. But again, if you want to just keep it nice and steady like we did in the warm up, that is fine too. All right, team, almost there. Looking good, Jazz Squad. Exhale when you extend out, inhale when you bring arm and leg back. All right, team, beautiful. Rest it up, looking great. Now let's carefully sit up, grab those weights. Bring yourselves down. Okay. All right, remember, slow eccentric release with the weights here, all right? Three count down, big press, one count up. Three, two, one, let's go. Tap those elbows right back up. One, two, three, tap elbows, big press up. Let's go. Looking good, beauties, keep it going. Boom. Looking great, squad. Keep it up. Hitting all of our major muscle groups in our upper body with all the exercises we're doing today. Chest, back, shoulders, arms, and our core. Primarily our abs, a little bit of the lumbar spine, lower back. Almost there, team. And rest it up, team. Great job. Carefully bring your beautiful selves up. All right. And then how let's get those curls and those overhead presses going, all right? Get a nice light medium set of weights here. Nothing too crazy heavy, all right? Nice stagger stance, four part, four piece workout right here. All right, squad, all right, stagger stance, here we go, three, two, one, and let's go, curl, press, come back down, slowly release carefully, and repeat, three, and four, nice and steady breathing, one, two, three, four, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two full breaths, for the full lift. Abs tight, stagger stance. Looking good, squad. You're doing great, doing a great job. Keep it going. Looking strong. Two, three, four. Keep it up, team. Almost there. Beautiful job, squad. Let's go. And rest it up. Beautiful. Let's get those chairs. Let's get those benches. Gonna use just a dining room chair. Okay. This time I'm gonna use the flat bench. Show the other way we can do this. All right, team, snag that weight. Go a little bit heavier if you're feeling spicy. But if you wanna stick with the way you had last time, that's fine too, all right? Let's first start with our left hand, okay? Right hand down um, on your bench or on your chair. Here we go, open up to that left side. Three, two, one, and let's go. Remember five degrees behind us, up and behind, five degrees. Inhale down, exhale up. Right 
Looking good. Almost there. All right, beauties, rest it up. Carefully switch it over to that right side. We're looking strong, looking good, everybody. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Inhale down, exhale up. Head nice and neutral, back nice and straight. Five degrees behind us, up and out. Almost there. And rest it up, you beauties. Great job, great work. We're almost done. Almost done. Snack some water if you need it. All right, got a couple more minutes. Let's finish it up, take it home. Grab those weights for the balance curls. Let's get that one one more time. Oh, my apologies. We forgot to do those kickbacks. <laughs> so we gotta get those kickbacks going. So let's grab those weights that you did with the curl and the overhead press. All right, team. I'm sure some of you while watching this were like, wait, wait, we forgot the kickback, right? <laughs> And I just remembered. So we gotta get the our second round in. It's a little bit broken, but not a problem. We're going with the punch, rolling with the punches here. Get those weights. Here we go, team. Nice light medium weights here. Three, two, one, and let's go. Elbows high, kick it back. Forgot the flow for a split second here. Kick them straight out, back nice and straight, head neutral. Almost there. And rest it up, team. Great job. <laughs> My apologies on that one. All right, take a breather. We're gonna get those balance curls now, okay? All right, so let's first start. Stand on our left leg here. Elevate that right foot. I am sweaty. I'm sure you guys are as well. Guys, gals, and days. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's get it. Big curl, team. Let's go. Find that focal point. Focus on that focal point. Nice and steady here. Helps you with your balance. Remember, elevate that foot. Don't let it touch the leg we're standing on. Or have that big toe down on that opposite foot. All right, beauties, switch it up. Let's stand on our right leg now. Here we go, go ahead. Elevate that left foot or have that left big toe down. Almost there, keep it up team. Biceps are on fire, let's go. <laughs> Woo. All right team, rest it up, beautiful job, nicely done. Great work today, let's get a little stretch here, okay? Let's have our find a wall, find a spot on, wherever you're at, find a pole, get your right hand onto that wall or grip the pole. Fingertips pointed towards that right side. Nice little micro bend in that elbow. And then just open up that chest straight out. You should feel this stretch primarily in our bicep, in our right shoulder, and in your right pec, that right chest muscle, okay? And just hold that right there. Beautiful job today, team. Did a lot of upper body stuff. We gotta stretch out a little bit of the muscles we work, huh? 
All right, carefully switch it. Left hand on that wall, keep it at that shoulder level. Micro band in that elbow. And then just open up, open yourself up. Feel that stretch in that chest, in that shoulder, in that bicep there. Beautiful job, team. Slow and steady breathing here. All right, carefully release. Awesome job, squad. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, 30 minute upper body workout specifically for beginners, but also for all fitness levels. All right, team. Remember, live Jazz It Up classes every Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or I hope to see you in another pre recorded class like this one. Have a great rest of your day wherever you're at. Love each other, love yourselves, and I'll see you in another class soon. Adios.